I have four big announcements from Microsoft's latest developer conference to show you. I thought Microsoft couldn't possibly one-up Google after their developer conference, but they impressed me again, from Copilot being introduced into Windows to the new app called Microsoft Fabric that will revolutionize data for AI. On this episode of AI Focus, here are the four announcements from the 2023 Microsoft Build event, and stay to the end to see the Microsoft CEO's reason for why they build. The first big announcement is that Microsoft is bringing Bing into ChatGPT, grounding it in internet search engine and making all its information current. With the default search experience to give you higher quality answers and more timely answers. Let's take a look. Here I am in ChatGPT, and as you can see now, Bing is the default. And when I come in and select it, I can now ask sort of real-time queries. For example, let's ask what I should expect to hear from about build and .NET. And what you can see is the results now are more up to date. They include fresh content and they include citations. In fact, if you can see the links on that page there, you can click those and those will take you straight to a web page that's sourced by Bing. We're also excited to announce that we're going to bring interoperability between uh, ChatGPT and Bing for plugins. So you write them once and they're going to run everywhere. So as you can see here in ChatGPT, I've got Zillow and Instacart enabled. But I want to show them to you here in Bing Chat. So we'll flip over. And you can see, again, I've got the same plugins now in both Bing Chat and in ChatGPT. And what we're going to show you now is I'll do a search here for houses in Chicago. And I can ask for a set of criteria, learn a little bit about the neighborhoods. Uh, and now I can automatically call Zillow by saying, hey, give me three houses in a certain price range that meet my criteria. And what you can see is now I get these great options. And I'm also going to get all of the other great things you get with Bing, like helpful city guides and maps and prompts. Another huge development is that Copilot is being brought to Windows. Microsoft is also releasing a Copilot stack where basically anyone will be able to build a Copilot app of their own. Developers will be able to write a plugin and have it extend across not only their custom Copilot stack, but across all of Microsoft's Copilot programs as well. By the way, if you're enjoying this content and want to stay updated on all the latest AI news, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Now back to the video. Next is AI Studio. This is the tool developers will use to build their own AI apps and co-pilots. Here you can train your models with built-in support for prompt engineering and support for AI safety. It's, we, we've been at work on AI safety for the last five years. We have principles which we have translated into a core set of processes that we implement across our engineering stack. And then of course we have all of the compliance and oversight. But the real challenge is not just to have these things outside the engineering process, but to build it into the everyday tool chain. Uh, and that's what we're doing with AI Studio. Uh, and it starts with testing. Uh, where there is the responsible AI dashboard that helps you during the testing phase to ensure uh, that what you're developing is safe. Uh, we have grounding, and in fact, the prompt flow is perhaps one of the best features for you to be able to ground your uh, models. Uh, you have provenance, provenance for media provenance, where, for the support for images and videos and watermarking uh, for your neural voice that's going to be available to all of you as you build your applications and at deployment time. That's perhaps one of the most critical things. 
is we have taken all of the safety work we did, for example, for the launch of Bing Chat, uh, and really made it available as just a set of features for uh, any developer to use. Uh, let's roll the video. Introducing Azure AI Studio, a full lifecycle tool to build, customize, train, evaluate, and deploy the latest next generation models responsibly. With just a few clicks, developers can ground AI models with their structured and unstructured data to quickly and easily build customized, cutting-edge conversational experiences for their customers. Developers can take advantage of a new model catalog that works with the popular models organizations use, including those from Azure Open AI Service, Hugging Face, and many other open source models. With PromptFlow, developers can combine relevant data from your organization and create a detailed prompt to get better results. PromptFlow works with foundation, internally developed or open source models, and uses popular open source tools, Langchain, and Semantic Kernel. And because the AI systems we build are designed to support our AI principles, with Azure AI Content Safety, we are making it easier for you to test and evaluate your AI deployments for safety. This is Azure AI Studio, the trusted tools you need to build the next generation of AI applications. Lastly, there's Microsoft's Fabric that the CEO feels will fuel the next generation of AI applications by redefining how we look at data. He says Microsoft Fabric will do to the data layer what the AI supercomputer did for the infrastructure layer. Introducing Microsoft Fabric, a unified data analytics platform. One product, one experience, one architecture, one business model. Unified data is stored in one lake, a SaaS data lake for the entire organization. Data is integrated and stored in an open format, allowing one copy to be used to train machine learning models, visualize data, and run SQL queries on the lake and data warehouse. A unified experience brings together all the tools data professionals need, pipelines for orchestrating data movement, experiments for training machine learning models, semantic models for defining key metrics, and much more. And for business users, Fabric brings together data for collaborating and doing ad hoc analysis in Microsoft 365. Unified governance, security, and compliance is built in for all your data. And with Copilot for Microsoft Fabric, AI helps everyone be more productive. Whether it's writing SQL statements, building reports, or setting up automations based on triggers. All your data, all your teams, all in one place. But there's nothing like a reason why that gives your work purpose. Check out Satyella Nadella's reason for why Microsoft is building this tech. Because we want that equitable growth. We want trust in technology. We want to ensure that we protect those fundamental rights that we care about and that we do this in such a way that we manage our energy transition given the finite resource we have in our planet. That's, at the end of the day, what grounds us in our mission, to empower every person and every organization. What do you think about this latest news from Microsoft Build? What are you most excited for? Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, click that video on the screen to watch something you haven't seen.